Yo guys, so, it's your boy Boaz Shine here, and in this video, we, well, first off, it is free for all number 12, and in this one, I've got a good story for you, and it's the story about my school bus, and by the way, I'm not doing very well, because one, I'm not very good at this game, whoa, I have got a good lead though, other than the guy at the top, um, one, I'm not very good at this game, this is a, just a one-off, and two, alright, there you go, I'll leave. And two, I I can't quick scope. It's just literally I'm no good at this game. That's why I had such a bad lead because the other guy had a chopper gunner, uh, this and that, you know. Right. So hopefully we can do some good. But anyway, on to the story of my school bus. So there's about first off, I'll say it used to be fine. Uh, it used to be a nice double decker, uh, lots of room for everyone, it was brilliant. But now it's a single decker and there's about, there's at least 20 people from each age group from year 7 up to year, up to 6 form, which is, if you're an American you don't know what that is, it's basically the year above, it's what you do if you want to do A levels. Um, which is like the best grade you could do six forms so you can get extra education and study for longer so basically there's about 25 people of every age group from year seven up to six form and now we're on a single decker so you can probably tell I'll probably find a picture right now we are all crammed in there like little tiny sardines there's about let's say 50 seats there but there's over there's 50 seats for 100 people basically and if you're standing up it's no good honestly it's no room whatsoever personal experience from my bus just don't get it it's literally you're standing there as soon as the driver brakes just the tiniest bit uh, it's even worse when it's a like massive break, but if he breaks the tiniest bit, boom, everyone hates you because you've just stepped on their shoes or you've just rammed into them and like trapped their hair and in the pole or something. And it's just I hope I can find a suitable picture to like get an idea so you know exactly how it is. If you're sitting down just as bad to be honest you've got everyone falling onto you um, people you probably don't like will fall onto you leaving you very unsatisfied and if you sit you need to be on the side of the window basically tip number one how to survive my school bus sit on the, the window side because then no one can fall on you <laughs> Tip number two, uh, run to the bus. So like, after school, it's like a massive race between our whole school. We have to like, get a seat. When you, bell goes, you sprint your fastest, there's already people on the bus. And that is the race of my school bus. So, it's very hard to be comfortable on the way home and on the way to school. Especially if you get off, like, if you get on the bus on the way to school, if you get on there, like, one of the last stops, you don't have any space. You stand at the front like a little loner, stand next to the bus driver, and it's just not good at all. So, basically, there's about 50 people standing up. Very rarely do they tell people not to get on because it's a danger to our flipping hazard to our health it's like you can't breathe I don't want to re relate it to what I was about to but right that doesn't matter trying to get off the bus when it's your stop <laughs> literally that is the task of your life if you think you're like stealthy try and get off the bus when it's your stop because you have to do a front flip over the first lot of people then you have to do side roll and do a little crawl under the next lot of people okay so now you are near the, the door but so
someone steps in the way. Some really big guy. No offense. So, what you have to do now, you have to put your right toe out five meters, five centimeters to the right. Your left foot in between the big guy's feet. And then you do like a sideward flip in between all the bodies and you've made it near the door. But then you've got all the extras that stand on the door, stand like next to the door because there's no room to stand up. So then you have to do a final cartwheel to get through them and that's it, you're through the bus. So basically that's it for this uh, free for all number 12, a story about my school bus and how it's not very nice. So if you enjoy, please drop a like and a comment and make sure you smash that subscribe button to try and get me to 100 subscribers. I'd love to hit it before Christmas or even on Christmas as I'll be posting some Advanced Warfare content on Christmas, the very Christmas day after I get it hopefully. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.